<laughs> Welcome everybody to I Love You. I know. This is the signature podcast from the Prolonged Engagement. You can always find us Mondays at noon on youtube.com slash the prolonged engagement show or you can go to our website at the prolonged engagement dot com there you can find this show in audio format on your favorite podcasting service my name is kyle and i'm sarah and without further ado let's get into it so we told you guys that we were off last weekend mm-hmm. because um, I was busy graduating. Yes, you were, so, and I'm so proud of you. <laughs> so that's uh, so that's done. Yes, finally. It was a it was a little bit iffy there because, um, so I was up there and everyone flew up on Thursday? on Wednesday. No, Wednesday. And then the. Uh, the ceremony, the, the, the commencement ceremony was on Thursday. Yeah. But it was it was kind of weird because uh, the way that they did it was that um, if you wanted, like, your name called, you know, if they wanted you to, uh, like, actually walk across the stage and be like, oh, this is blah 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 mm-hmm. blah blah You whatever. had to go to a different one, right? You had to go to, like, your school's uh, celebration, degree celebration versus the main commencement so the main commencement was on saturday but i was like fuck that i I don't want to go to that thing um because all they're going to do is just somebody's going to talk and then Mm -hmm. you know they're not even going to say our names they're just going to say like um colombian school of say like volgenau school of engineering you know and then we all stand out and then you know that was it but i actually got my name called it mm-hmm. this other ceremony that was on thursday Should and i it didn't even figure out that i was graduating until friday yeah should i tell the story about what happened what how i almost killed a man <laughs> oh yeah yeah <laughs> so i'm sitting up in the stands uh waiting for kyle to get called and they had a rule do not stand in the aisles and take pictures mm-hmm like, this was a rule they told us before the fucking graduation. And so I'm like, okay. I'm like, we watched people the whole time standing up, getting up into the aisle, taking pictures, blah, blah, blah. Being assholes. So as I'm waiting there, I see Kyle stand up from his seat, walk around the arena, get onto our side and I get a really good picture of you when you're near us Mm -hmm. standing down there that was my really good picture and then this guy from behind me like friggin runs down the steps and starts taking pictures in the opposite way of the stage so he's taking pictures of this kid who's already walked Mm -hmm. and he is right in the way as you're on the, um, what is that called? Yeah, when my name is getting called. Right yeah. when you're getting called. So his mom, his biological mom and I are sitting there screaming for this asshole to move. Like to the point that I'm like almost shaking in anger because he won't move and I can't get a picture of Kyle actually being called. And so I miss his name being called. I miss seeing him, like, get the little paper thing. The non-diploma. The non-diploma, but it was super cute. I thought that was cute. You actually got something like that. I did not. And so this guy, he, he, and so we're, the entire area has been talking to us this whole time. So they know we've waited eight years to see my fiance graduate. To see him walk. So our whole the whole area is yelling at this guy to move. And he's like... Like that at us. Mm-hmm. And so he eventually does move down. And of course, I'm horribly distraught over this. I break down crying. And he walks past by me. Walks back past by me. And so I scream at him. You just had me miss my husband walk. Thank you. 
and everybody else in, the, in in our in this like little group that we've made right there, it's like fuck you, dude. Why don't you go back off and blah blah. blah. So yeah. Fun. It, it it was rather interesting. It was the first time I ever felt irresistible impulse, which is a legal term for insanity, meaning I would have killed him. If I had gotten up, I probably would have, like, killed him. At any rate. But so, was, yeah, there was... That, it was good that you walked and yeah. you graduated. So there was that ceremony, and I didn't actually find out that I was graduating until Friday. Because I, I still had one outstanding grade, mm-hmm. and I needed a C, uh, you know, a C or better in order to, you know, to have it fulfill all the degree yeah. requirements and whatnot. And then so it came across Friday as a C, and I was, like, really, really worried about it. Um, uh, like, I wasn't even sure that it was even going to go through. Because um, the... the the way that that professor grades stuff, it was all down to um, two tests and a project. And I didn't know any of the grades for any of that stuff. I thought you had gotten your project grade, though. Yeah, I, but I didn't know what I was going to get on the final. Oh. And I did, like, pretty poorly on the first. But everybody did poorly on the first exam. Mm-hmm. So I was, like, I was hoping that, I mean, he, here's here's what poorly means. The highest grade was a 55. So that's, that's what that's what poorly means. That's not good. Um, but that's just how. But that, that curve that really that is professor good. that's that that's his thing. He likes he to like, fail people. His his averages are like in the forties. When that's horrible. That's not teaching. That's failing. Well, not really. I mean, especially for this kind of. Uh, the classes that he teaches that I, because mm-hmm. I've taken him for two classes, and the classes that he taught are like their theory. It's like everything is theoretical. It's like it doesn't. There's no like hard. Was he one of those weird people that we would have watched at the very beginning of your graduation? Philosophy of computer science. Yeah. The the the, the, the doctorates of philosophy of. There's a philosophy that there is actually a philosophy of computer science. That that he, if if there's any, it was odd. <laughs> he'd he'd have it. I don't know what his doctorate is in, but I'm curious if it's like the philosophy of computer science. And I'm not entirely sure that he has actually like been in the field. Like if he's ever been, so he's just been in schools. Yeah. So I don't ever know if he's actually like program like worked for a company mm-hmm. or anything like that. He's not very open with his personal life at all. Yeah. So. You know, which uh, a lot of professors aren't. aren't. Mm. I mean, you have a lot of pe- a lot of students that you see all the time, yeah. and I w- I don't expect them to be open, you know, open and forthcoming about their personal oh, no. lives and whatnot. No, no. But normally, you know, I, you you hear stuff like, "Oh, well, I worked at you know wherever for fifteen years mm-hmm. or whatever, so this is my area my of expertise." You know, they normally say shit, but not him. He's just like, I'm great, and um, you guys should be happy that um, I'm teaching you, pretty much. It comes down to I shit like that. I was going to say something really bad, but it could inflame, inflame people who watch this. Okay. Should I say it anyway? No. Okay. So, anyway, so I did that, graduated, uh, so I knew, knew I was going to do Friday. Mm-hmm. We had Sarah's walking ceremony. My, Yeah. All you have to do is um, pass a pass, pass a, one more test. One more test, and then you've got it. Yeah. So, but they only walk once a year, so yeah. It was either she walks now or doesn't walk until next May. Yeah, I would walk would now like, or walk in 2018. Yeah, which was just stupid. Absolutely. So I was stupid. like, you know, so I'll walk. They said, uh, "Oh, you only have that one test. Just walk and yeah. and then do the test, and then." Uh, and then you're then you're fine. Yeah. So it was like no problem. And a couple of hours at my internship. Yeah. So you walked it and, and I walked and then you'll and then you'll yeah. pass the test and yep. be all good. Yep. So I thought it was very interesting though the differences between your commencement versus my commencement. Um yeah. I, well it, uh, I wonder if it's just the culture of the schools that we went to or 
Yeah, sort of. Well, yours is a private university too. Yeah, it so. was. <laughs> and um, and not yours was only masters. Yeah, we were all masters too. students. Whereas in some very odd fields, like mine had masters students in there too. Yours had doctorate, masters, and yeah, undergrad. had doctorate, master, and undergrad. But um, I, I think that the most rowdy of people were there for the undergrads. Oh yeah, it yeah. was yours. Mm-hmm. The masters. <laughs> During his graduation, someone had beach balls snuck in. Yeah, and they threw I them out while how. the undergrads were up. Yeah, um, because they were searching us. Mm-hmm. So it couldn't have been from anyone in the stands. They had yeah. like a little bucket there of beach balls and air horns. Well, they weren't testing us on. They weren't checking us. Yeah, we could have so brought in literally anything. Yeah, they didn't even check to see whether or not we were graduating or not. It was like. I could have, if I was a freshman, I could have just put on a cap and gown and walked. Yeah. And they would have called my name and everything because yep. all I had to do was just grab a thing and just walk. Yeah. So. Um. And so, but I thought that was very interesting that between yours and ours, um, yours, everyone was really, really rowdy. Even yeah. in the stands, they were rowdy well, they even had that and yelling they, and screaming. They even had that thing of, like, mine, they just let you scream and shout the whole oh, time. Yeah. Whereas yours, they were like, oh, uh, please hold you know, they, they at least said, please hold all applause. You know, they at least said it, whereas For, they did not give a flying fuck at Mason. Yeah. Just no fuck. They were it. like, please hold all applause until every name has been called. And then, you know, and Mason so it was, was just like, Mason was like, go wild. We don't give a flying yeah. fuck. And it was, like, and it, ah, and it was really interesting because, like, with ours, e- even with mine, the way it worked was so with yours, blah blah blah, ah! versus ours, it was uh, Zhao Lin was actually name called mm-hmm. from statistics, and it was woo. <laughs> yeah, most people were like woo. Yeah. It was really cute. I thought how they were just like woo. Yeah, like you'd hear just a little woo, woo. From, like, each area. Mm-hmm. There was one really rowdy one. Like, the rowdiest. And they were from the back. Yeah. And I actually saw them. They all matched, wore <laughs> matching yeah, t-shirts. Yeah, fuck it up! <laughs> yeah. 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 It was, like, something like that. It was He was yeah. a... I think there was a chemistry guy, it was like too. A, it was, like, that part in Dirty Grandpa. Yeah. It was... It was fuck him up, Alf! It was kind of funny, because... I watched that movie without you. You watched that without yeah. me? Yeah. Dirty I don't grandpa. want to watch you, that. No, you didn't. Yeah, did, did you even know what that was? Was Zac Efron? Who's in it? Was Zac Efron and um, Robert De Niro? Yes. I it. wanted to see that one. Uh, I watched it. It's free on Prime. Is it good? It's okay. Is it as bad as uh, Jackass Grandpa? Um, Film. Bad Grandpa. Yeah. I think Bad Grandpa was actually a better movie because they had. It was like, it was like Jackass, but. It was jackass. You know, with a tiny bit of story. Dirty Grandpa yeah. was... um was Just dirty? It was... So, the thing... It, so, how it goes is um, Robert De Niro's wife dies. So, Zac Efron's grand, uh, grandmother dies. Okay. And so, his grandfather then calls him over. He's like, um, I need to go on this trip down to Florida. Okay. And but he didn't want to do it alone, so he just needed somebody to take him. Like he couldn't, like he couldn't drive and whatnot. It's it was a whole ruse at the end of the movie. You'll find out. But anyway, uh-huh. so he says uh, he's like uh, the first scene that you see after the funeral is Zach Efron walking into his grandfather's house, and his grandfather is literally jacking it to porn. Like he just opens Robert the door. Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro is going. Oh! <laughs> and there's porn on the TV, and he's like, "Hold on, I'm about to come." <laughs> and he's like, "Grandpa, oh!" It's like, yeah, it's yeah, it's bad. So it's guy humor. Oh, it's really bad. There's like a, and then there's a whole on. They like get this uh, hotel room where they have to sleep in the same bed, and Robert De Niro gets just just fucking naked in the bed, and he's like, "Grandpa, you can't do that." And Zac Efron plays like this lawyer. Okay, he's like a he's he does like mergers and acquisitions, like your father type of type of. Oh, so lawyer. he's up. He, he does what is he? He he keeps on talking about. It. He's like do LLC agreements, and he's just 
So he's a mergers and acquisitions. But guy. he's like a corporate lawyer. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, so, but, uh, so he's like constantly talking about how he's a lawyer and he's all this stuff and he's like all prim and proper. Yeah. And so like Robert De Niro is like, you know, anyway. So I, like, I can't see Zac Efron playing a character where he's prim and proper. That sounds really he did. He did a really he did good. Yeah. He did a really good job. And, um, so he sits there, he's like, Grandpa, you can't do that. And he goes, you put some fucking pants on or something like that. And he goes, and then, um, he's like, uh, and so like Zach, uh, he pulls over to the other side, and then he's like, uh, the you know, Robert De Niro you know, he says like, Zach, Zach. He's like, what? And so he like rolls over, and there's Robert De Niro's fucking cock, like right in his face, and you get to see the it's it's his cock. It's probably not Robert De Niro's. No, it might be. It might be, but it might not be Robert De Niro's actual dick, which I, I doubt it really is. I, I bet but it is. But there's just a, it's just sitting there. And he's like, oh, and he like swats it away. It's, it's. That doesn't sound bad. Yeah. Especially after, um, why him? It's worse than why him. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. It is, yeah, it's pretty raunchy. There is a part where Zac Efron gets high on cocaine and he puts on a he's wearing nothing but a bumblebee over his dick a bumblebee yep a bumblebee over his dick it's a so like a it's like it's like a it's like a it's like a you know like a jock strap but it's a bumblebee on his dick and said it was made to be a jock strap like a bumblebee that's what it was made to do okay i guess i just have to see it you you you'll have to see it to 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 understand. It's it's really just god awful. It's really bad. And it's worse than why him. Yeah, okay. worse than why him. Yeah. Ow. The uh, he's, he's he tells him he's like your grandmother wanted me to fuck that college girl. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. oh god. Yeah, it's like that. No. But anyway. No. 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 Yep, yep. Uh, so, yeah. Graduation was nice, though. So. Graduation was nice. And then uh, and and I got home, and then... Um, yeah, we all flew home together. Yeah. Which was really nice, because I semi-cried on the plane. Yeah, I was like, ah, I, I was like, I don't have to go back. Yeah. I mean, I have to, but... But we're going really. together. Yeah. I don't have to go back alone. Yeah. And then... Um, I started this thing that so Ubisoft had sent me an email a mm -hmm. couple of weeks ago, yep. and they were like, "Hey, um, can you be part of this video gamer community where we're gonna ask you questions and shit?" Mm -hmm. It's like it's gonna be like a week long process between like you know whatever date and whatever, and I'm like, "Yeah, I'll be you know done with school by then." Yeah. So yeah, fuck it, why not? So I did it. And so they, like, they asked me a bunch of these, like, they said, here, take this survey. And I guess my question to the survey got me an invite to the mm -hmm. community or whatever. It could have been, like, everybody that actually went through the survey got one. Yeah. Which is, might be the case. But anyway. You're not sure, though. But they said, like, if I were to partake in this community, I could, you know, they said they, they would compensate me for my time. So yeah. I'm like, oh, all right. That's fun. I was like, I'm down. So, uh, it's been Watch Dogs 2 all, all fucking week. So, I thought that because they asked me. Do you think there's me, a chance that it's because they're researching for Watch Dogs 3? Absolutely. That's exactly what they're doing. So, because your guys. Because I think, I think that what they were. Ideas and the shit. I think this is what they were. Watch Dogs 3. I don't really think that they're looking for ideas, really. I think is they just kind of wanted to gauge the crowd. Okay. Um,. There's one guy on there that I read today. He's like, I haven't played Watch Dogs 2, so I don't know why I'm in this community. Like, <laughs> it's like, I haven't what? played the game. There's some people that have played it completely through. That one guy that haven't played it at all. Um, there's people who just played a little bit of it, you know, and not finish it. Damn. It's like a whole, you know, big thing. Um, well, sorry. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, so, like, the first day, they said, oh, introduce yourself, whatever, mm -hmm. and then they're, like, um, one of the days was, 
they asked me a question yeah about uh, location of the n- of the next watchdogs yeah and i shit you not if it's either in seattle or dc mm-hmm. i am so taking credit for that one really i am fucking taking because i i you were the one that said seattle or dc yeah i'm taking credit for it it was my idea and that's how it, that's how it'd it be is. fun so but I, my other thing about this is like man i could have just podcasted on this topic and gotten everything you know out of the way yeah. of all my points that i went across but um yeah so they were like oh where would you like to see it next because um a lot of people had the like everywhere i was looking kind of had the same consensus on locations mm-hmm. Um, not new locations, but on the previous locations. So yeah. Watch Dogs 1 and 2. They're like, Chicago was fucking boring as shit. And the Bay Area was so much better. It was it was more alive. Yeah. The more people. The, LA would be interesting. Um, Marcus was a much better character. LA would be shit. Why? LA would be an awful city. Because you're trapped in traffic all day. <laughs> yeah, the whole day would just be traffic. You know. Maybe. I mean, GTA gets around that because it's not really LA. It's so, an L.A. proxy. Yeah, it's like an L.A., same, uh, you know, uh, California proxy type yeah. of deal. So, but uh, um, the, yeah, so everyone, uh, they were like, uh, Chicago is kind of boring. The Bay Area is better. Aiden is a fucking awful character. No one likes Aiden. Oh, really? Not a single person liked Aiden. Interesting. Uh, um, is it just because he was revenge-based? I mean, that's why I don't like him, mm-hmm. but... What were their reasons? I don't know. I didn't really read in too much to any everyone else's reason why they didn't like him, but I can only extrapolate, you know, like, when I said that he was, like, one-dimensional, it was all, people were agreeing with me and mm-hmm. things of that nature, so I think that that's a big part of it. Yeah. And I think that really a lot of people like this activist hacking that they have in Watch Dogs, too. Okay, so Where, the gray hat stuff. Yeah, so like people who are looking out for the little guy, mm-hmm. that sort of deal. Yeah. I think that a lot of people like that That's always about fun. Watch Dogs too. Yeah. So that is really awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, I said, I said Washington, D.C., and I was like, the cool thing about that one mm-hmm. is that what if there was like a government thing mm. on it now? So like – so – um, you know, if you don't know, Watch Dogs 2 is based, uh, so there's like this uh, city operating system that runs everything now. Mm-hmm. And it's called CTOS, and it's built by Bloom mm-hmm. uh, Corporation. And so Bloom is like, they're the main bad guy. Yeah. And so um, I was like, what if you put it in D.C. and you put up the big tech companies that are big government contractors okay and then you have it to where like ctos is now um you know they're uh trying to move people around the dc metro area Mm -hmm. to try and make it like oh well we're gonna try and gentrify this place so we're gonna you know target people and arrest them Mm -hmm. or you know things like the same things like that i was like you could put like a government spin on watch dogs 3 and then you know put it in in dc i think that Mm -hmm. would be kind of cool that would be um the other one that i was thinking of is seattle watch that yeah the other one i was thinking of was seattle and i was Mm -hmm. like Amazon and Microsoft are the big Ooh. are the big guys in in Seattle, and I think that it kind of worked because Watch Dogs Two had, um, you Google know, even though they equivalent they I had they had equivalents of Google, mm-hmm. uh, SpaceX, uh, Facebook, and um, they had a robotics company yeah. uh, there too called Titus, but I don't know I don't know there's not really a um, there's no real, mm-hmm. real life equivalent to that. But Noodle and Google, those things. Psh, I mean, an invite <laughs> Facebook. You know, those were straight up. Oh yeah. You know, and then SpaceX and um, and uh, I think it was called Atlas. Maybe those were you know pretty similar. Yeah. But yeah, there was nothing to 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 put on Titus. But if you have a company like Microsoft and a company like Amazon based out of Seattle, mm-hmm. 
I mean, um, you could definitely put a spin on that. Like, you know, and then you have that even opens up to more hacking abilities, too, because Mm -hmm. you have um, now you have Cortana and Alexa, which are huge um, AI components like Siri and and, and whatnot. Um, Did they have an Apple equivalent? No, 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 no. I wonder why. They have an Apple equivalent in G- GTA called iFruit. Oh, that's right. But, um, yeah, there wasn't any. Yeah. But if they could get on, like, mm-hmm. you know, the Microsoft Am- yeah. uh, Am- Amazon type of deal, um, even have, like, it would be cool to actually have other drone quadcopters. Ooh. Like, if you had, the like, the Prime Now um, quadcopters like just flying quadcopter around. Race. And you could... You could or like shoot down. you could hack those things and it would drop cool gadgets that you could that'd sell really in the pawn, you know, like yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I think that'd be fun. That'd yeah. be different. I'm so taking credit for it if they use it. <laughs> I'm so taking credit for it. Didn't you put this on there? Hmm? You put the show on there, right? Or the channel. On the yeah, on the community. Yeah. They were like, Any any um any YouTubers on here? I was like, Fuck yeah. I was like youtube.com slash the prolonged game stream show and I nowhere. I got nowhere. <laughs> and no no views, no likes, no subscribers. I thought no you nothing. said we got one guy who was who like wrote on one of the uh what is it called? Well some dickhead said that I, I put in a spoiler to the But that's um, something. Come on. Yes, thank you. Thank you for what? For actually watching. Well, they're not watching this. The only people that watch and listen to this are our actual, like, our subscribers. Like, I know. Seriously, it's just subscribers that watch this stuff. Well, thank you. For Every once in a while, they get they get search clicks. Yeah. But it has to be on something that is... Like, popular. Yeah, it's got to be, like, a popular topic. So, um, you know, like, that's how our Markoffs got so popular and yeah. our terror behind the walls and whatnot. So... It has... What was it last time? What? The rumor mill. One? The E3 one got it was yeah it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. We're having our friends now listen in in uh, in uh, podcast form, which, which is awesome. nice. So I actually have people that uh, you know are telling me hey, your shit. Try this. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna do it a little bit. You nicer. sound like shit. I was go gonna fuck nicer. yourself. But um, yeah, that's you don't nice. sound like shit. No, we actually sound awesome. Yeah. Our content Mer- is mediocre, but we sound good, so that's good anyway. Wait, does that mean this is a mediocre time? No, it's not. No, <laughs> that's copyright. <laughs> that and, is? Uh, oh. They probably don't care. Shout out to a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. Yeah. I was trying to do a reference. They don't need any help because they're a humongous podcast. Yeah. So and they're awesome. Anyway, they're awesome. They're like my favorite. We anyway. both listen to them now. Anyway, anyway. All right. So this was I love you. I know. You can find us every single Monday at youtubecom slash the prolonged engagement show or our website at the prolonged engagement dot com. There you can find the show in audio format on your favorite podcasting service. My name is Kyle. And I'm Sarah. And we'll see you guys next monday tune in tuesdays for gamecube redux Redux. tomorrow's gonna be what final fantasy final fantasy crystal Crystal chronicles Chronicles. right yeah so i'm really um, excited yeah i'm gonna have you play that one since uh no it's multiplayer simultaneous multiplayer fuck it i'll have you play it anyway all right guys we'll see you next week love you bye hey guys thanks for watching and if you want to subscribe you should click over here If you want to watch the latest episode of I Love You, I Know, click right here. If you want to see our latest video, click right here. And if you want to see our latest Let's Play, click right here. If you're listening on MP3, 